guys, welcome back to the Coco channel. Today we are doing a very different type of video. It's kind of like a tag video. Um, I didn't really like research this and see if like somebody came up with it first. I just had this like idea and I've had it for actually a while. I wanted to get like some other people involved but it just never ended up working out. So I was like, oh, I'll just do it by myself. And then anybody that wants to participate totally can. Uh, so this tag is called the Overlay Made Me Pay. Uh, I have so many products that I literally just saw like the design in the actual product, not the packaging. Cause that's a whole other video. Um, and I was like, I have to have that. I don't need it, but I gotta have it. Uh, a lot of them are very luxe brands. I feel like they do the best overlays for the most part. So um, I'm just going to share them some with you. Uh, we'll start off with some more affordable items. One I actually got from a friend and one I did purchase myself. The beautiful Miss Nessa sent me one and then I purchased one myself of the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powders. When I saw they had little hearts in them, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have those. Look at how stinking cute they are. I'm not trying to flip you off, sorry. So those are the first ones. And then before I even knew these were a hot ticket item uh, from the drugstore, I saw the Milani Rose Blushes and I almost died that there is a flower overlay um, embossing, however you want to say it. Uh, I have quite a few of these. This is my absolute favorite one in 01 Romantic Rose. I just think it's so pretty. It's such a pretty color. But just the little embossing makes me want another floral blush that I was like I need that this is from BH cosmetics it is actually really pretty this is in the color Fiji fun um, you can actually get these on Ulta's website now and I just thought it was so pretty with that flower next is a bronzer blush and this is from Tarte and this is the Park Avenue princess pink bronze and it looks like little seashells or like can't tell if it's seashells or little leaves, but all the different colors and the little like embossing, I just thought that was so stinking cool. This next one was blown up so hardcore all over the internet. This is from Estee Lauder. Uh, this is the Bronze Goddess 01 Heat Wave. Um, I literally don't even know if I've touched this because I heard that this overspray goes away of like the gold glitter and stuff and I just loved the way it looked. I know that's insane to have something and not use it but if you've been with me for a while highlighters are something that I collect and don't touch. <laughs> so this is one of them. Another insane purchase that I've never touched is from Lancome and this is the La Rose de Apoudreur highlighter <laughs> and it's like actual rose petals. I remember uh, I think it was Nessa who came up with a way to like recreate this using like a silk rose. Um, I've never touched this like swirled it around and put it on my face which again I know probably sounds crazy but you'll come to realize that I'm a freak, uh, especially about flowers. In case you couldn't tell. Um, another one is from NARS. This is the Man Ray highlighter. This is new um, to my collection. This is the, in the color Double Take. And when I saw the little lips all over it, I was like, oh my god, that's so cute! And I don't have a ton of NARS, and so that's why I picked that one up. A uh, powder that literally does nothing. <laughs> doesn't have a color to it whatsoever but I couldn't not have this was from Givenchy and this is the original soft powder radiance enhancer and when I saw that like Victorian like uh, European you know what I mean like crest on it I was like oh my gosh it's so pretty like look at the detail in that overlay that's insane okay we have something from Anna Sui um who is sold on Beautylish I picked up two uh eyeshadows from her because number one the palette you got to create yourself and you could fill it with whatever colors you wanted which again is like that very Victorian European crest cornerstone you know what I mean and then 
These are the eyeshadows, which themselves have overlays in. Little angel wings and little flowers. The rest are my collector's items that I want to share with you. I've been collecting for probably like three years. This isn't all of them, but it's a good majority of them. Uh, if you guys want to see a video just on my collecting collector's pieces, let me know because um, it goes back a little ways. Um, so the first one is the... Chanel de Chanel and this is the camellia which is a camellia flower overlay highlighter and then it has like the red top the next one is the plissé lumiere which is this one and I just thought like the geometric aspect to it was like really really cool after that we have the pearls de fantasies um, this was my very first one from Chanel, and I think I got this for Valentine's Day one year, and I absolutely loved it. I've always wanted a necklace, Chanel pearl necklace, you know, where it has like the little emblem and the pearls, one of the longer chains, so I absolutely loved that. And then the one most recently added to my collection is the Lion. Um, I did get two, but I'm just going to show you one. This is the Blanc. I did also get the rose, but it's the same exact emblem, overlay, whatever you want to call it. Uh, moving on to some Burberry pieces. The first one is the Silver Shil Shimmer. This is the newest one to my collection. This was released for holidays this year, and it looks like a little gift with a bow. The next Burberry piece is the... Burberry First Love. This is a blush. And how could you not love that? That's so cute. Next up is the Burberry, and it just says blush palette. This one is amazing and somewhat new. I think I'm pretty sure I got this this year. And it has like that gold. Oh my gosh, so pretty. And then last from Burberry is the Silk and Bloom Blush Palette which looks like a beehive, like honeycomb. So stinking pretty. I have two from Dior. This one is the most recent to my collection. This again is from the uh, holiday collection. And this is the Precious Rocks. And then an oldie is the Glowing Gardens. Um, I did touch this one and I have used it. I wish I wouldn't have because they came out with these same colors in the permanent range. And so I could have not touched this one with that like floral. But it is what it is. Uh, Givenchy and it's a bronzer. Um, floral edition. I picked up one of these for Shauna as well. And this is the overlay. And it is so stinking pretty. So as you can tell, if there's a floral embossing, overlay, overspray, anything like that, it's gonna come home with me. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed this like little fun video. It's just something to kind of show you guys a little bit of my collection. Again, if you do want to see like a full collection of like my high end like collectors pieces. Let me know. So if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you are a fellow creator, I would love if you participated in this. I'm not going to tag specific people in fear of that I'll leave somebody that I love so much out. So I just encourage you to do it if you are a creator and if you have any pieces that you saw the overlay like me and you're like, I need you. Let me know. Um, in the comments down below, make sure you let me know you did a video so I can see. Um, if you are new, hello and welcome. My name is Brittany Coco. You are watching the Coco channel. Please subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!